Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to one of my videos. In today's video, we'll be um, I'll be showing you how to use the SMD AMM-1. This is going to be the easiest guide on YouTube. I have the all the stuff for that you need to do this. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So first things first. This is going to use a nine volt battery. So what you got to do, you got to take off this blue stuff right here. Take it off. It just comes off like that, and open it up and you will find that there's no battery in here. I've I've been using this, so there's obviously a battery, and it's gonna be a nine volt battery. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a big tip. I'd go ahead and buy these Amazon Basic rechargeable batteries, because this thing eats up nine volt batteries like nothing, bro. It, I, go, I go through a nine volt battery every other time I record. It is going to be very caught. It's going to save you a lot of money in the future. And these Amazon basic nine volt batteries are awesome. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm just going to replace it with another one. Here, I'll show you. And then I'm going to recharge this one. So I got my recharging station right here. So all you do, you just push it down. Now it's recharging. So let's get the new one. All right, guys, got the new nine volt battery in. So you're just going to want to pair it up with these. So let's do that. All right, guys, after it's been paired up, all you want to do is push it back in here, put the cap back on it, like so, flip it over. You can put back on the blue um, rubber matting or rubber cover or whatever if you want. I'm going to put mine on because I like the way it looks, and yeah. All right, guys, after you put it on, you're just going to want to press on, and it, will sh it should turn on. And it will tell you if your battery is good. There we go, 9 volts. So what you want to do, if you want to go to real-time power, all you got to do is hit mode until you actually get to real-time power. So that's the one I use when um, doing my watts, so real-time power. And you want to connect these red and black wires to the red and black right there. All right, guys, after this has been connected, I'm going to bring it to the car. All right, guys, after bringing it to the car right here, we're going to do one thing. So we got to connect the uh, negative and positive. And you want to hook up the red and black to the negative and positive and hook it to your uh, speaker wire right here. But before you do that, you want to put the, you want to get your positive and you want to run it through the center like so. You want to run it through the center like that and then connect the, this is going to be the positive wire to the red. I just twist it together and insert it, and you want to do the same thing for your negative. Twist it, insert it. Now, if you have bigger wire, you can even insert it by just stuffing it into the wire. I've seen people do that. Either way, it works. All right, look at that, guys. So we got it all hooked up, and now let me play a little frequency so you can actually see watts pushing through. All right, guys, we have a 40 hertz test tone at really low volume and it is working perfectly fine guys that is how you set up the smd amm1 to push out your ohms and your watts if you like this video guys and find it helpful leave a like comment or subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace guys